Hello and welcome to Chicagoland once again, as now it's the Coke Vanilla's turn to take to track race number 18, upcoming nine races to the chase, as drivers now start to get desperate in search of either a first win or a second win on the season. Those with two wins got a little bit easier of a task because they don't have to really worry about a win. On the pole today is William Duncan alongside is Tom Gerard. Kyle Sosnowski and Danny Everett, row two. Drew Austin, Kyle Thomas, row three. And Sky Commons, Jacob Budd, row four. And Charles Jackson alongside Gene Sanford in row number five. As let's take it to the rear chase camera here real quick. Get to none. See if anyone had problems rolling off. Nope. I was going to say, it kind of looked peculiar, though, that the fact of Matt Benassi on a roll all by himself, but that is fixed. Look through the field here. There's the hometown hero, Dylan Young. The other hometown hero, Sam Young. Not too far away. Actually, he's starting about the mid-pack. <coughs> Pace cars off. We await 54 laps here at Chicagoland. A long race, but these guys can do it. Green flags out. Couple pit stops here today. Let's see who can come out on top. Brad Johnson, Charles Sanford into the middle now. Three wide as they head off into turn number one. Brad Johnson's in the wall. Car 19. Brad's struggling here as they go through turn number three. There's another car in the wall. It's Sam Young. Sam Young's in the wall. Car five. That's surprising. To see Sam up in the wall was is an absolute shock. More guys in the wall. Sam's got another one. Looks like Chris Washer might have been up in the wall. Sanford, the points leader. Whitson's in the wall. Washer's in the wall. Oh, and around goes Peachy London. Right in front of these guys. Wow, Trevor Meachin got through it. Jake Rogers hit hard. William Duncan led back to the line. Pichu London, Henry Sanford's got damage. Chris Washer. Kyle Osmond's running the between. Oh, they're wrecked again. Wow. These guys having to try and let the pace car come back by. Sky Commons does come down to pit road. As well as Danny Everett. But the pace car did beat him down. Let's see these guys make some pit stops. Danny Everett with pit stall number one. Let's see what the strategy is for Sky Commons here. Well, that's a good pit stall for him. Fuel only and the nine's going to beat him off. Or is he? Never mind. There's Sky, then it's Danny Everett. These guys uh, a little bit behind there. Kyle Thomas. There's London on pit road. Wow. So let's let's try and piece together what happened here on the to bring out the caution. And we're back. They're already having a little bit of an issue here. So we're trying to get a good camera angle. Look at pretty much how far wide they are on this track. I know they're not exactly five wide, but when you look at how far wide they were. 
as they come down off this corner. They're four wide here. London slides up into the 21. He gets into the two. Nothing he could have done. Jake's going to pretty much slide here. Jeff Ozzie Jr. There's Henry Sanford getting involved. Chris Washer. There's Sam getting involved. Jake's going to pile drive the wall there. And as, I think as he slides down, he's going to make more contact with the 18. Yeah, here it comes. And that pretty much ends the day for both of these guys. Okay, and then the only thing left to do is figure out who spun on the backstretch. Jacob Bud. What happened here? So they're slowing down. Oh, and then Alex Jones gets into the 13. A couple of dodges there. Brennan Patterson gets into him a little bit. No harm done there, I think, for the 17. Oh, wait, never mind. There was some harm done right there. And that causes a big bunch up back there. I don't think anyone really had any problems, though. Luckily. As we'll take you back to the green flag here from Chicagoland. And we're back. Six laps will be complete when they take the green flag. William Duncan is your race leader. Then it's Kyle Sosnowski, Drew Austin, Tom Gerard, Gene Sanford, Jerry Shelley, Bob Johansson, pa Brian Patterson, Charles Jackson, and Charles Sanford, the top ten. How about that? Charles and Charles in ninth and tenth. Adam Derrickson, uh, second in points, 22 points back in 11th. Then it's Mary Shelley, Jeffrey Buckeye, Jack Smith, John Azela, Derek Benassi, Harrison Buckeye, John McNamara, Elijah Workman, and Trevor Meach in the top 20. Those out of the race are as follows. Jake Rogers and Pichu London. Both not actually as of incidents, but with problems that happened with the incident where they're both engine related. As the green flags back out, Kyle Sosnowski jumped to the high side there. Not sure that was quite a bright move. In the back straight away here. Tom Gerard looks inside of Kyle Sosnowski. He's had a fast car all week in there, has Gerard. I saw the red flag out there. That usually means caution flag, and it does. Jacob Budd, Mary Shelley, and Adam Derrickson. John Azela. Whoa! Seth Cole's around. Sanfer made contact with Whitson. Chris Walsh is around. Oh, Gene Sanfer! What on earth happened there? Okay, and let's see if the leaders make pit stops. Sosnowski does, so that's worthy of watching. Look at all the guys on pit road now. Derrickson's probably done for the day. He's got more damage, I think. That is second in points. The points leader was also involved in this, Henry Sanford. So then I guess you look like a third, Drew Austin. He was running up here. To, he's running up towards the front. Right side's going on the 48. Remember, those that pitted the last time only took fuel. Here comes Drew Austin. Two tires only for the 48. So now we learn, do the tires matter? As Drew Austin was second, then Charles Jackson, John McNamara. And Trevor Meach in the top five off pit road. As we look, let's take a look back at what happened to bring out the caution. And we're back. Here's where this started off of turn number two. Watch Chris Washer in the 13 to Jacob Budd. Two rookies making contact. And Jacob's just going to slide into the wall there and make uh, a little bit of contact. 
So we're just going to go back to Chris Washer here because nothing happens to Jacob other than that. What happened to these guys coming off of turn number four? Oh, they're wrecking up there already. So what happened with these three? Jean's in the wall and looks as though she's in the wall and then Derrickson for some reason slides up, gives her absolutely no room, which I'm surprised at for a four-time winner, not giving someone some room. John Azela then smacks the wall. There's Danny Everett, Warren Cherry, Alex Jones, Seth Cole, Warren Cherry. There's Jeff Ozzie Jr. getting into another one. Oh, there's Whitson, Sam Young, Chris Washer. Sanford drills the 21. I think Buckeye made through this. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Derrickson then ends up drilling the 21 here. How ironic that he comes sliding right... Oh, whoa. That's right, Jink... Oh my gosh! Absolutely drilled him. How fast was the 25 going? He's slowing down... 96 miles an hour. And then how fast did the 41 just absolutely clock this 4 at? Slowing down, slowing down. Ah, 127. Yeah, about 127 and instantly slows down to like pretty much nothing. Wow. Let's take you back to the green flag here. I'm pretty sure Jeff Ozzie Jr. is looking forward to getting out of here. Same for Sam Young. And we're back coming down to the green flag here. As William Duncan's your leader, then it's Tom Gerard, Bob Johansson, Brandon Patterson, Charles Sanford, Jack Smith, Derek Benassi, Elijah Workman, Sky Commons, and Matt Benassi, your top ten. They have all yet to make a pit stop here. Who's the first guy that I know has made a pit stop? I know Kyle did in 16th there, the 48 car. I'm failing to remember who pit underneath the first caution, though. Mainly because I didn't take a good look at who did. So top 15 I know, or at least top 10 I know I've not made a pit stop. Possibly top 15 I've not. So we'll take a look back every once in a while, see where some of these guys who made pit stops are. Wow, Johansson came up nearly into Tom Gerard. As Sanford makes a move to the inside, Patterson there for fourth. It's been a while for him. Gerard's had a long winless streak because he has never won. So, I mean, you can't even really say he has a winless streak yet. Patterson looking to break a long winless spell. He's almost up to 50 races since his last win. Sanford's at 30s or is at 36 plus. Duncan won earlier this year. He's looking for win number two to clinch him a chase spot. As here comes Tom Gerard. He's got a run on him. I was nervous about that. Let's see where the 48 is. He's back in 29, so let's see where someone that I know is pitted is. I know Meacham pit. He's up in 18th. I think Dixon's pitted, though. Battling up in the top 10. So Gerard now trying to battle with the 6. We got... How about this? All three manufacturers up in the top 3. Ford, Dodge, then Chevy. As Gerard makes a peek to the inside... Down to the line, give it to Duncan, but Gerard is there now. Say how often to one. Give it to Tom Gerard coming off a of two. Sanford goes inside for second. And they will battle as they head down the back straightaway. Sky Commons into fourth. Johansson fifth. And then it's Patterson in sixth. Can we be looking at first time winner three times in four weeks here? 
Maybe. Still way too early to tell, though. We're 10 laps from halfway here at the sh when they hit the stripe. That's why I was silent. I was trying to figure out how many laps till halfway. This is a very... It's a cloudy day here. We've had some intermittent cloud cover here this entire weekend. As Duncan now goes for second, he's got Sky Commons right there. Sky could really use a second win. Sky Commons, we have 14 different race winners, and Sky is the lowest in points of those with a race win. Yeah, 14 different race winners, and Sky Commons is the lowest of those. So he could really use either a good run, well, one, a good run, mainly because he's way behind those other guys. And then he could really use another win. Here comes Amy Shelley. She's the defending winner of this very race. She became the first female driver to win a Coke Vanilla Cup race last year when she did it. Of course, since then, her sister has won one, and so has she. She's won another one. Oh, Johansson's in the wall. So Amy's now into sixth. Patterson fifth. And Sanford Commons. Duncan's right to the back bumper of Gerard now as they come off to turn number two. I don't think we've had a guy who's actually won the same race uh, that they won in Season 1 yet. Mainly because we haven't had that many guys who actually repeated yet. Uh, well, Derrickson won at Charlotte, but that wasn't exactly a repeat because he won the one in the chase. So, I mean, if you want to count that, I guess. Gerard got the wall, though. That was key. Sky Commons takes the race lead now. And I'm pretty sure Coca-Cola is not too happy. They're seeing a Pepsi car up here in the top, too. Amy Shelley now into fifth. Oh, I forgot to mention those out of the race. You have Seth Cole, Henry Sanford, Gene Sanford, Devin Whitson, Adam Derrickson, John Azela, Warren Cherry, Chris Washer. And there's Alex Jones right in front of the race leader. Oh, my gosh. Look at the run Brent Patterson got. Here comes Charles Sanford to the inside for the race lead. Talk about a guy who's had some struggles. Not only has it been 36-plus races since his last win, he's 34th in points, and wow, Sky Commons nearly bounced off the 12. Sky Commons fighting that car. Here comes Matt Dixon up here. Drew Austin's up in the front. As Patterson now takes second, Amy Shelley's into third. Here comes Amy. As unlike last year, the top line, as long as you can avoid the wall, is really the line to go when trying to fend off someone for a position. As here comes Amy back again to the inside. She's got Tom Gerard and Sky Commons behind her. Tom makes it three wide for a second. At least for a little bit there. You can see the right side of his car and where he got the wall. Parsons going to have to try and avoid the wall coming off this corner here. He does so as Gerard now falls back. Here comes Drew Austin on the high side. Trying to take what I believe to be fifth away from Sky Commons. Here comes William Duncan, though, with the dive bomb attempt. Gerard's in the wall once again. Matt Dixon nearly making contact with the 33. Jeff Ozzie Jr. Is he on the lead lap? No, he's lapped down in 30th. Alex Jones is actually two laps down. And so the next lap car would be Jacob Budd. Sky Commons now takes second away. Because Charles Sanford actually encountered that lap car pretty effortlessly. Sam Young without a hood. Let's check in on the other hometown guy. Running in 24th, he's had a... Oh, the caution's out! Dylan Young's involved. Brennan Patterson's coming to pit road. Johansson's on pit road. 
Can green flag pit stops have caused this one? Let's see. Sanford, I don't, I don't think is pitted. This might have been long enough, though, to where even those guys who made a pit stop might have to come back down. Here they come. Trevor Meacham's got one of the first pit stalls there. Oh, Johansson's got a lot of damage. Alex Jones has damage as well. Johansson is now retired. Here comes Duncan to pit stall number one. Oh, there goes... Uh, that was Alex Jones retiring from the race. Yep. Everyone making a chance or uh, taking the opportunity to come down pit road this time. So this plays right into the hands of everyone that did not pit yet. As here comes Sanford, he's going to win the race off pit road. Then it's going to be Trevor Meacham, Sky Commons, then Drew. Oh, where does Patterson play into this? So I saw Patterson and Jerry Shelley coming around. Did they even stay on the lead lap, actually, as well? According to the timing and scoring, they did. Let's take a look back at what happened to bring out the caution. And we're back. Apparently, the pit stops did not have anything to do with this, I don't think. Because watch what happens to Dixon. He's just going to get up into the wall. It may be the fact that Patterson was coming to pit road. I don't know. Because he was very high on the track. Watch the 35. Oh, whoa! Watch this. There's a spot of the safer barrier that comes out. Dixon just absolutely drills it. You can see it right there. There's where it comes out of the wall. I've never seen that where it's in the center of the turn. Then Jeff Ozzy Jr. just absolutely drills the 32. Derek Benassi gets into this. And he's probably going to drill this at like 150 miles an hour. Well, 148, but oh well. And this is probably where a lot of these other guys are going to get involved. Well, maybe not. Oh, there's Johansson. Jeff James was right there. John McNamara. There's Dylan Young. I... How does Danny Everett miss this? He's been the unluckiest son of a gun in the entire series. Although Alex Jones drills the 32. Even his slow speed couldn't get him out of this one. I've never seen that where the center of the turn, the safer barrier comes out. Oh my gosh. Hopefully officials will take a look at that. That, because that is definitely a safety risk there. Well, look where it is. It's right there. Wow. Of course, some drivers taking the advantage to go to pit road. And let's take you back to the green flag here. Charles Sanford is your race leader. And I keep getting back just in time as they're coming off turn four to get the green flag. Charles Sanford is your race leader. Then it's Trevor Meacham, Sky Commons, Drew Austin, Mary Shelley, Daniel Day, Bram Patterson, Jerry Shelley, Elijah Workman, and Charles Jackson. The pitch strategy didn't work out too bad for the 17 and 27. As Meacham goes for the race lead, those out of the race are as follows. Dylan Young, Bob Johansson, Matt Dixon, Jeff Ozzie Jr., Alex Jones, Kyle Austin. I think Kyle Austin though, was out from the previous incident. Sky Commons now goes for the race lead. Not going to work, though. Meacham trying for win number three on the year. Mary Shelley inside Sanford for third. That would be impressive if the rookie can do it. Oh, the caution just came out. Oh, we have cars flipping on the front stripe. Oh, what the heck? William Duncan. Buckeye was just absolutely... In a pre very precarious situation. There. I'm not sure what happened there. These guys better watch out though. 
Especially if those cars are still there. Meacham will lead back to the line. Did someone spin out coming back to the line? Brad Johnson's involved. Wow. Not quite sure what happened on this. Wow. Happened off four, though. It's been the trouble spot today, hasn't it? See if the leaders make pit stops here again underneath the caution. They always just see me with that little motion right there. I always think they are. So let's take a look back and see what happened to bring out the caution. Well, there will be some things to explain in the Buckeye household tonight, as look who it is turning who. Jeffrey turns Harrison. Jeffrey Buckeye turns his own brother. Oh, nothing for William. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Whoa. Okay, for the record, that is twice this weekend that William Duncan has had a car coming right up in front of him on the tri-oval. This one, he sends absolutely flying. Takes out one of the... Oh, my God. He actually took out one of the uh, light poles here. We're hearing the race is actually being red flagged. As now the catch fence also has to be repaired. And then up here, and after that, Duncan apparently will hit Sam Young. How fast does he drill this car? 193, guys. And that car just absolutely goes flying. Sam Young gets a piece. There's Brad Johnson. McNamara's in it. There's Jacob Budd. And then Duncan's car goes absolutely flying. Okay, so how does Benassi get into this? How does Jack... Wait a minute. Where's Jack Smith in on this? Gerard's in the grass. Not quite sure what happened with that. Oh, and Smith hits Gerard. And then Benassi's going to come along, hit the... And Jack Smith goes underneath the zero. As, hold on, I gotta pause this because otherwise I'm gonna miss the restart. Gotta figure out how Gerard ends up in the grass. On oh, this, good friends do this one. Kyle Thomas gets into Tom Gerard. What's up with the friends turning the friends, the bros turning the bros today? Okay, we're going to take some onboards here because I want to see what some of these guys had to have seen as that zero car is just absolutely flying on the front straightaway. Onboard Tom Gerard. Missed the rest of it. Onboard Matt Benassi. Car's just absolutely flying. Or the guy who takes the wildest wreck in this. Oh, whoops, got play. The only time in NR 2003 history where the car will go upside down, we do not lose the camera once. Here's a guy who can see it all happen right in front of him, literally. Well, that made me dizzy. On board, Jeff James.
That is just a sight to see. A car absolutely flying on the front row. And then there's guys spinning up here. Give Jeffrey Buckeye around. Oh, well, uh, good job, Jeff. Here's what happened to Jeffrey after the turn. You see Sam Young gets into him. Kind of a little bit of brother justice there, I guess. Oh, Danny gets into it. Brad Johnson. Everett's car doesn't look like it did too bad on that. Benassi gets through that. I think I'm pretty well done with onboards. That one, a one of the craziest rides I've ever seen someone take. Ever. Let's go back to the green flag on this one. <coughs> and we're back. Trevor Meacham is leading. Then it's Sky Commons, Mary Shelley, it's Charles Sanford, Elijah Workman, Charles Jackson, Amy Shelley, Kyle Sosnowski, Drew Austin, and Jerry Shelley, the top ten. Bram Patterson, Tom Gerard, Kyle Thomas, Sam Young, Jeffrey Buckeye, John McNamara, Ma Derek Benassi, Danny Everett, and Daniel Day, the survivors. Matt Benassi's in 20th. He is out of the race. Jacob Budd, William Duncan, Harrison Buckeye, Brad Johnson, Jack Smith, Jeff James. And we're hearing uh, William Duncan and Harrison Buckeye both being sent to a local hospital. It's the second time that uh, that Duncan and a Buckeye have both been sent to the hospital in the same race this season. And both times, Jeffrey Buckeye was the guy that turned the car. Responsible. Wow. As both of them, we'll hope that both of them are okay. Um, both of them took very vicious hits. As we're back to green flag racing, and pretty much the meaning of this race has all gone away as we just hope for the driver's safety there. Sky Commons goes for the race lead. I'm pretty sure that like, none of these guys have really been told yet. They probably will be told more after the race. As Sky Commons now and back into second. Amy Shelley moves into third. Trevor Meacham continues to lead. Charles Sanford right up against the wall. He's rim riding it. Charles Jackson's right there. Well, this can be troublesome. Jackson's around. Oh, keep off everything. Oh, boy. Oh, I saw that coming. A nasty's car just absolutely drilled him. And we're down to 17 cars now. Both those drivers' uh, cars done for the day. Charles, man. 27th in points. He only has one top five on the year, and it's his only top ten. I thought he had a really good shot. He could have just survived the race today. Uh, not going to happen, though. He'll probably finish in the 18th position. Leaders don't pit. Um, I don't think we need to see a replay of this one because we already saw kind of what happened. Charles Sanford gets the wall. Jackson hits him. Jerry Shelley kind of finishes him off. We'll take. You we'll bring him back for the green flag here. Might actually have less than 10 to go, though. And we're back. Trevor Meacham continues to lead. Then Sky Commons, Amy Shelley, Elijah Workman, Charles Sanford, Jerry Shelley, Drew Austin, Brennan Powerson. Mary Shelley, Tom Gerard, John McNamara, Daniel Day, Jeffrey Buckeye, Kyle Thomas, Danny Epinassi actually will go down in 18th, Charles Jackson in 19th. Both of them out of the race now. 17 cars left as there will be 12 laps to go. Oh, this seems like it's going to be one of those where we might end up with only like 10 guys on the lead lap. Green flag is out. This is the most wrecked fest of a race I've seen at Chicago, and even our test race wasn't this way. Same for inside a workman for fourth. Shelley goes for second. Got to do him now. Got to get these moves done now while they're all grouped together, essentially. And that's where this de desperation comes from when these guys have been making these moves on the restarts, causing the issues. It's because look at how much the inside line is a hindrance coming off of four. As Sky Commons now uses that 
to get second place back. So much for what I was saying. 11 laps to go. Next time by will be 10 and it will be a single file restart. Not that that would matter because there's no lapped cars. Although Commons now looks once again for the race lead. Can he get to the inside of Meacham? Not yet. I think Trevor only has two wins. He has two wins this year, and I don't, I think one of them came in that paint scheme. I know the other one came at Talladega in the blue and orange one that he has, or that the team has run. Amy Shelley inside for second once again. Nearly contact between the Sky Commons machine and Amy Shelley. Amy trying to be the first person to win the race that they won in uh, Season 1. Or to repeat the race that they would have won. Uh, we haven't done that yet. For various amount of reasons. Some of them being the defending race winners not even in the series. Uh, that will be the case when we get to Bristol where David Burden is the defending race winner. But Amy Shelley grabs second. Can she chase down the 31 of Trevor Meacham? Sky Commons has a run. These two can work together. They might be able to catch the 31. Well, so much for working together. Here comes Commons. Although, could the battling be good for them? As Sky Commons starts to appear to get a run on the 31 car. Amy Shelley's a little bit back there, though. She'll need these guys to battle a little bit to go ahead and earn her way back up and through to the front. Drew Austin looking to possibly take over the points lead with the struggles that the 30 and the 25 have had today. They both are out of the race. As here comes Commons. This is just what Amy Shelley wanted to see. A battle for the race lead. It's just what the fans wanted to see as well. Six laps to go here from Chicagoland. Amy trying to use the high line here to possibly drum up a little bit of momentum here and get a run on these guys. The fact that they're battling though is going to help. Here comes Commons once again. At the line. Oh, that was close. Chicagoland, I believe, is the second closest finish for the Coke Vanilla Cup Series. Second to the finish at Talladega this season. Sky Commons, though, given the race lead. Amy Shelley looking for second now as there are five laps to go. Four to go at the stripe. Amy got loose. That's going to help Trevor Meacham here on the, on the outside. Four to go for Sky Commons. He recorded his first win of the year earlier this year. That was at Bristol. Meacham's got a run. Here they come through turns three and fourth. At the line, there'll be three laps to go. This one's shaping up to be a great finish. Wreckfest towards the beginning and middle of this one. But Chicagoland not uh, failing to show the fans what they want. As Trevor Meacham now is alongside Sky Commons down the back straightaway. How about Kyle Thomas up in the top five? Oh, look at Sky Commons with the run. And if I said Sky, I meant Kyle Thomas. If I said Kyle Thomas, that's exactly what I meant. Because uh, the sound, they sound the same in my head when I say them close together. As there are now two laps to go for Sky Commons. Meacham and Shelley trying to chase him down. Daniel Day looks for fifth. Here comes Shelley. At the line, she's going to have second, but I don't think she's going to have enough to chase down the 11 now. She has two tenths of a second to gain. If Meacham decides to battle, it's all over. Down the back straight, we switch to the TV2 camera. Through three and four. 
And it's gonna be Sky Commons who will grab his seat. Jeffrey Buckeye coming down. Danny Everett, Sam Young. So Sam's still able to finish despite everything. He'll come home 17th. I'm sure he'll take it, cons all things considered. So your finishing order of those that actually finish, Sky Commons and Amy Shelley, Trevor Meacham, Drew Austin, and Kyle Thomas hang hung on for 5th. Daniel Day, Kyle Sosnowski, Jerry Shelley, Elijah Workman, Tom Gerard, Charles Sanford, Mary Shelley, Bram Patterson, John McNamara, Jeffrey Buckeye, Danny Everett, and Sam Young. We'll be right back for the victory celebration here from Chicagoland. Sky Commons coming down to celebrate his second win of the year. Looks like he'll come to collect the flag here at start finish line, then start the celebration. Let's see if he can uh, continue the trend this weekend of uh, blowing the motor here in the victory celebration. Well, it looks like he's going to succeed in that as he's going to take it down to victory lane here and not blow the motor in that Joe Gibbs Chevrolet, although he comes close to that pit wall. Coming down to victory lane. There it is. Sky Commons, your winner here at Chicagoland today. Now we'll roll out the point standings after the round of Chicago. After round 18, eight races left for those who have not recorded a win to record the that win if they don't, or even get a second win for those that have a win. We'll see you guys next weekend from somewhere. I'll find the sheet sometime here. I know I found it, but I don't know where it's at. So, see you guys next time.